Okay, we're going to turn an episode of On Point EDC. Today, we have a really cool comparison for you guys from the brand Tactile Turn. A little about them. They're founded by Will Hodges back in 2012 out of the good old US of A. And essentially, he built this brand that is all about being obsessed with making things that will last a lifetime. And not just theoretically a lifetime, but actually warranted for a lifetime, which I think is pretty great. These are all hand machined in Garland, Texas. And in terms of the product type, I consider these custom pens. Some key characteristics, and as I when you're looking for something within this space, of course you're gonna want a unique design language, something that's fun and fidgetable to actuate. And then of course, premium materials and construction. Both of these retail for $99 direct from the brand. Brand. And uh, I love them both dearly. And in 2024, I just wanted to do a comparison of the latest iterations because these have gone under some refinement over the years, whether it was slimming them down, um, as well as, you know, new naming conventions, and even most recently was uh, refining the milled clip placement so that it is there for a deeper carry. So I'm a big fan of both of these. These are both within the short uh, lengths. So there's uh, various length wises um, there versus like standard short and mini these are right in the middle there closer to about five inches each and i have to say these are kind of my picks of the litter in terms of what they make of course they do offer some other variations in terms of materials and finishing and everything like that but these two are kind of the basics and i did want to make this video for any of you that are kind of torn and aren't sure which one of these two pens might be for you so with that said let's go ahead zoom the camera out get these pieces in hand and take a closer look Okay guys, now before we dive in, quick customary wristwatch check. Today I have on my Neo Vintage uh, Beadmaster Broad Arrow Automatic, and I love this thing, and I do have it on an aftermarket Forstner bracelet. Uh, and yeah, this thing is awesome. Definitely take a look at the channel. If you're here just for the EDC or pen content, I do tons of watch stuff. That's kind of the majority of my videos, but uh, where I think this kind of watch tied in is just that all metal aesthetic. I mean, there's something that's very timeless about this. Uh, as much as, you know, during its heyday, right, around the mid-century, the Omega Speedmaster was really uh, a technical marvel. Uh, now it's something that's still... Uh, I think holds its own and it's still, you know, um, beautiful to look at while still being easy to appreciate in terms of its technical prowess. And that's kind of how these pens are. They, they are very timeless, um, in terms of their design aesthetic, very minimalist, very functional, but they have their own look. You can tell this is a tactile product. Uh, so with that said, let's actually pick them both up and take a look. So in case you couldn't tell guys, uh, the bolt action <laughs> pen is this one that has a, bolt action actuation there boom then we have the side click and they call it a side click because at the side you have a release trigger so even though you can pump that as many times as you want the lock is here so it gives you a bit of a different kind of fidget factor there uh, but they both do offer something that is, you know, uh, a fun platform and it feels really great. And again, a lot of that has to do with when we say tactility, check out the actual, uh, there we go. Look at that micro grip. Now this isn't enough to shred anything uh, or be uncomfortable, but this is definitely enough to give you really nice lock. And I'm left-handed, guys. That's why I have my watch on my right wrist. But uh, it gives you enough to really lock in and it just feels fantastic. And some of you are gonna be like, hey, why aren't you writing with these types? Guys, tactile turn doesn't make the refills, right? The refills that can go in here, um, let me just make sure I got my notes there. The Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, right? Um, so, and that's specific for the short length. Uh, some of the other lengths have some other options, guys. But Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, uh, if you're curious. And then, of course, anything that's within that same size range would also fit in terms of compatibility. Uh, but yeah, these are both the thinned down options. And what I like about the thinner options in general is are they feel more like a 
traditional pen. And some people might not like that. Some people might like it feeling like a tent stake in your hand, uh, feeling a little bit thicker. But for me, this thinner profile, it just feels more refined. And I just really dig that. And in terms of actuation, even as a lefty, guys, even though this isn't made specifically for me, it's real easy to still actuate. One of the nice things is when you do have the, when you're using this pen, if you want to stow that and utilize that uh, pocket clip, let's say you put this in your front pocket, uh, the nice thing is, uh, you know, you can see there, you have a visual indicator like, hey, the, the tip is still out. So, boom, and then now you're gonna know. Here, you don't necessarily get that. Of course, you have a visual indicator by just looking at the tip, um, and then if the bolt is up on the action there. But uh, I'd say it's a little less obvious because it's still gonna have the same silhouette regardless of if the tip is extended or not. And you guys can see there's a slight difference in height here, essentially, uh, because, yeah, hey, when you have it now, they're gonna be about the same uh, when you have it pushed versus on. So if you were gonna have both of these, just know that they are slightly different in length because the slim side click is gonna come in at 5.3 versus 5.1 for the slim bolt action short. Anyway, this is for both of them are the short options, right? So, uh, but they're both gonna have that same thickness of about 9.3 millimeters and it's close weight, uh, 80.82 ounces um, for the slim uh, side click and then for the slim bolt action pen it's going to be 0.87 ounces so slightly heavier for the bolt action these are going to be again the same price uh pretty similar options and everything like that if you want to go you know um get a fancy anodization done or any types of engravings done uh you're going to have pretty much the same canvas space but uh, in terms of the way that they're going to stow, you guys can see there because they have different locations, one is going to be, you know, a little bit higher than the other, but just barely. So let's say if you do have this in your front pocket, you're only going to have this popping out and you're going to have just slightly more there um, for the slim side click. So that is something to consider if you do want this to be very, very low profile. But you know, it's not this. It's not like carrying a knife where you're kind of uh, doing it to be low profile necessarily. You're more so keeping it so it rides deep and that it's going to hold. And the nice thing here is they've been very thoughtful, and I've carried these, uh, you know, in terms of EDC carry um, on many occasions, and it's nice. So there's a very, very minimal contact patch. Uh, which is great. So you're going to have a lot of angle, which is going to be able to hold, right? When you slide that, whether it be over a pant pocket or over a breast pocket on your shirt, um, it's not going to, uh, you know, deteriorate or wear out uh, that material, which is nice. So both of them have that. So it's, a, again, that contact strip there, it goes across and you can see there's so much work done again in a full kind of 3d a five axis way to look at this um they've really been very considerate and one of the things is uh you know nobody can really consider everything right it's really just through iteration um and there's been a lot of iterations of this and that's why i'm such a big believer in tactile turn or one of the reasons is because they've done so many iterations and they've gotten so much feedback and they've learned so much along the way they just seem to improve with every new variation and this is really kind of a, a great pinnacle for them i'm not sure when they're going to have another you know, form of evolution uh, out of this, or if they'll just be newer models, uh, because I think these are pretty outstanding as they are. Of course, they're gonna keep working to push and tighten those tolerances here and there. Um, but at the end of the day, I'd say it's probably more about, you know, what, if you're a clicker fan and you like to have that, you know, that boom, it's, I'd say audibly, that's gonna be probably the biggest difference because they're both fun to kind of fidget around with, but audibly that click, is going to be quite satisfying there. Not satisfying to just pump, but that unlock uh, click is very, very nice. Let me make sure that we get this, the right things in focus, boom, boom. There's something definitely very, very satisfying audibly about that. Now, in terms of, you know, uh, there is definitely a nice audible nature to this as well. Probably not quite as satisfying, but it's much smoother in terms of its actuation. So in terms of just fidgeting with this, the I would say physically, you know, having that little 
detent in that hook and then just scooting that over there's definitely something about that trigger feeling very nice and of course as functional tools they work fantastically they work perfectly guys um a great insert in there um a lot of different options and they feel wonderful in the hand not too tall you know not too short again i chose kind of their medium size which is known as the short versus the mini which is even smaller or the standard which is just a bit longer and that's going to feel probably a little bit more akin to something that you would leave at a desk the thing i like about these lengths are uh it's that sweet spot to where it, it feels good in a pocket still but doesn't feel so small to where you're feeling like you gave up any real estate that was realistically usable right the mini you're going to feel like it's a compressed pen and it's going to be smaller which is great for a pocket but uh, when you're using it you don't necessarily get the same level of balance in hand so here you're going to definitely get that with these kind of uh, short lengths there versus the mini or the standard which again standard is probably going to be the best in hand but again that's going to be probably not the best in terms of carrying and uh you know stowing on the go Ooh, yeah yeah <laughs> so some of you are probably screaming at, at the screen and just wondering if I'll get to the point. Which one? Which one do I choose out of these two? Um, they're both fantastic, but let's go over my notes and make sure I don't miss anything. All right. Um, in hand ergonomics, very smooth and balanced. Right, the action is great. Great tactile engagement, fun to fidget with. Uh, I do appreciate these slimmer profiles mainly because they give that uh, in hand feeling closer to a traditional plastic pen, like a Bic or something like that. Um, versus, you know, um, there are some plastic pens that are actually quite thick and bronze pens and whatnot, more traditional pens. But this feeling feels very professional. It feels very functional, very purposeful. Now, again, both of them in terms of their pocketability are great. I will say that depending on what else is in your pocket, uh, the bolt action kind of does give you a little bit more room for things to hang up on it. Um, if you're going to have it like, let's say, in a pant pocket, uh, in terms of a breast pocket, not going to be an issue. Um, but you're going to have less issues in general just because it's going to be kind of a slimmer, sleeker profile on the side click in terms of if you want, uh, you know, to if you put this into your pocket, then you're trying to draw something out of your pocket. Is it going to bump into anything? Is it going to create a hot spot or anything like that? Uh, it's smoother um, in general and just a little bit more low profile uh, from that perspective. Model variants, guys, copper, bronze, zirconium. Zirconium is going to cost you a little bit more, but uh, it is nice that they do have some, you know, bronze, a little bit heavier, uh, copper. Of course, color-wise, you want to match your EDC, something like that. Yeah, that's that's more than an option, and those are going to actually be the same price as the titanium, so you don't have to pay any extra uh, just for some color variation. Uh, again, different sizes. They're standard, short, and mini length options available. Um, again, these are kind of right there in the middle, and I think these are probably the default, this should be the default size and the perfect size. Um, in terms of comparable models, guys, there's a ton of bolt action and clicky EDC pens on the market. But I mean, honestly, very few of those uh, options that are out there feel quite this well designed and executed. Tactile turn really remains a top tier option uh, within a very competitive space, guys. Uh, again, these have been iterated many, many times. Um, they've had, they've burnt through growing pains, and not to say that they won't have any more in the future, but with that innovation, with those iterations, there are going to be hiccups here and there. And the best thing about this brand is they've really shown that they've learned with each iteration how to improve and really add value to, you know, you know the latest and greatest model variation so these aren't just oh this is the newest one or you know it's just a seasonal release they do some great seasonal releases don't get me wrong but uh, there's just a level of care and refinement that happens here that you don't necessarily find everywhere with every other EDC pen regardless of the material it is even if it's more expensive material than titanium now, uh, bottom line, guys, you can't go wrong with either the click or the bolt style of actuation. They're both great in different ways, uh, while also sharing, of course, the same build quality and materials that we've come to know and love and, ex and you know and expect from tactile turn. I mean, they've even ex extended into knives. I you know I regularly carry uh, two different, even though I own more than two, but uh, there's two knives that are pretty much heavy in my uh, rotation from. Uh, 
tactile knife company uh, you know it's now a sister brand to tactile turn um so yeah i would say while the bolt action is probably the more iconic choice and probably should be the default right if you're gonna either you you're only gonna buy one pen from tactile turn um this probably should be it like this is the that's that's it like it just iconography wise this is the one but you know um between the two the side click does feel a little bit further engineered and somehow a little bit more timeless maybe because that side click layout reminds me of like a fisher ag7 space pen right um except of course way more solid <laughs> feeling um and hand and you know t tighter tolerances and everything like that still usa made um you know for not that much more than a classic space pen uh you know from from that perspective so yeah these i don't know there's something about them i really dig it speaking of space pens with the speedmaster i think it's a nice pairing guys so for me personally i think uh the slim side click is going to be the one that is kind of my jam and uh maybe the one that i would recommend to folks but if uh somebody's just like has to have a bolt action pen um you know and that's what they're looking for specifically whether you're gifting it for somebody or something like that uh, i would say this is going to be a whole lot of fun and it's probably exactly what they're looking for and you won't be let down you know by any measure uh whether it be the materials the build quality the design uh, the ergonomics uh, the tactile feel in hand whether you're actuating or writing uh there's definitely a whole lot to love so with that said let me know what you all think down in the comments below if you like the video please do hit like and if you haven't already Please subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.